probably just a few minutes. Hey, what's Leo33? Uh, can you hear me right now? I've never passed this way, so I'm just uh, testing out Go via Twitter. Hey, thank you, Jib Camera. Wonderful. As you may have figured out, that is the Freedom Mobile. And in a very natural hour, we are doing something very unnatural. Self and Elijah. You may know from previous broadcasts and <laughs> Officer Wills, how you doing? You on the side of the internet? No. Oh, come on, <laughs> Officer Wills. All right. I guess they're friendly in some ways and shy in other ways here at yeah. the uh, Border Patrol checkpoint. We're somewhere between. We're in Arizona. We're in Arizona now. Just uh, just past in Arizona from California. And uh, we are being, yeah, I was asleep. Oh, oh, you're talking about Mr. Wills. Mr. Wills is grumpy. Um, I don't know, that's a little presumptuous. <laughs> He's just doing his job after all. But uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was asleep in the passenger seat and just woke up to the, uh, to the guys in green, Border Patrol, and we were, <clears throat> excuse me, Pulled over to secondary screening, and we are now awaiting further harassment. <laughs> uh, looks like there's an officer going around the vehicle there. I've, these gentlemen all have copies of the book, so I, I don't know what's wrong. They, they don't seem to. <laughs> they haven't read it yet. They, oh, they haven't read it. Yeah, that's right. They're not, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You, you can't just give someone freedom and expect them to, you know understand it oh and it is cold out damn it's a little bit it, it got cool like creepy cold like at first i stood out here i was like oh it's not cold at all but <laughs> out here for a few minutes you well know. you just you just came from rhode island yeah. so this should be warm for you but dang yeah. Whew. it's the middle of the winter in the southwest Oh, we've got we've got local backup here already. RTR Truth Media, thank you very much. Saying uh, I'm in Arizona. If anything happens, bro, very much appreciate it. What, what what are we? Are we on the ten? Uh, eight. We're on the eight. The eight. Also known as the Ocho. The Ocho. Is that what it's called? <laughs> That's probably why we got stopped by border patrol. Because we called it the Ocho. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't think anything's gonna come of this. They're gonna like finger screw our stuff. I, I use the finger F word, but yeah. this is this is being broadcast live, and yeah. children might be listening good, after yeah. all. But they're gonna uh, rat screw our rig, <laughs> as, as as we would not quite say in the military. Man, I, this this camera is shaking because I'm actually like shivering at this point a little bit. I'm like, so I come up. Just, Gotta, gotta put it down. Uh, just just so I can, like, I, I feel like so unprofessional <laughs> now. That there's a shot of the sky. Ugh, hey, so, I can, so I can zip my jacket up. I, I'm wearing I'm wearing flip flops, so. Yeah, it's it's cold. There he goes. There's, there's uh, our other officer friendly over there. Getting into the Freedom Mobile. Ugh. It's great that we live in the age of the internet. I mean, I. I know whenever you deal with, uh, you know, government agents who are uh, not beholden to, uh, to the natural law, uh, you never know what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, Jib Camera, that's right. This is keeping you safe, exactly. I mean, these guys know that, that when you're holding up a camera or a phone you know, like this at, at any point, that, that what they're doing could be broadcast live on the Internet. And uh, it doesn't mean bad things can't happen, but it means that uh, there's more accountability. If they do, 
at least uh, there's yeah there's there's usually a better way to hold people accountable than there was in the past. Someone said maybe they're searching for truffles. Someone asked what was the probable cause? It was because the, the vehicle smelled. I'm not, I'm not answering any further questions, officer. You don't have the keys? Talk Strange 07, just be glad they didn't take your phone. Yep. Yep, sadly. Wait, Elijah's phone is because you're the driver, they took your phone? No, my, my phone's come in there. Open the glove box for us then, since you have the keys. And it's up to you, you can sit here all night. I'm here all night. Okay. We can be here all night if you don't want to cooperate. So I'll, 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 I'm going to read you something, sir. Let me show you. It says. So there's a card I got from my attorney, okay? Right. It says, I want my attorney. I invoke my right to remain silent. I do not consent to a search of any kind. Not me, my effects, premises, immediate location, or vehicle. I hereby invoke all rights, including but not limited to those in the 4th, 5th, 6th, 9th, and 14th Amendments of the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Rights in our state constitution. I want my attorney present before and during any questioning and before discussing any waivers. Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. Okay. Right now you're being temporarily, temporarily detained. Understood. While we do an investigation. Right. If you, want to, if you want to speed this investigation along, you can cooperate. If not, you can just sit there. I'd like to let you know, sir, you are being broadcast live on the internet. Sometimes I don't care. At Dre James writes, charge him for your time. Uh, I've, if I could charge the government for all the time of mine that it has stolen, <laughs> I would not be driving a piece of shit 2007 Chevy Suburban that's <laughs> falling apart on its way from California to, 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 to Arizona anyway. Doc Strange 07, hashtag Constitution Served. Well, you call this a uh, constitutional audit. Hey, listen. Nope, oh, I gotta listen now. Listen. Yes, uh, sir. Hey, look, I'm gonna cut you guys loose. I'm gonna give you ID back, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna tear open your glove compartment because it ain't gonna be enough to worry about putting it in jail. But you know, you and I both know there's some marijuana in there, and you're, you're uh, I don't know. You're playing this game. That's okay. I appreciate. I appreciate, sir. Sir, I appreciate you. Hey, hey, I appreciate you taking the opportunity to do the right thing. You were wrong. I just give you a piece of advice. Don't attempt to come through the checkpoint when you know you can't have marijuana come through. That's the advice I give. All right. All right. Have a good night, gentlemen. So, can't accept freedom here? No. Border Patrol is against freedom? No, we just we can't no, take no. gifts. Oh, it's it's free. It's it's we distributed. It's like promotional material. Okay. It's not it's not legally qualified as a gift. We've been through this. I've given it to police officers. We've given it to Border Patrol agents. You don't so you just you personally don't want freedom. Yeah, I don't want it. Okay. Cool. I don't think anybody else wants to do this. All right. Hey, hey, we're going to leave out of here. Gotcha. Told you it was going to be an adventure. <laughs>
Thanks for watching, everybody. I think that's I think that's all we got for now. Let's see how do we end this shindig. Elijah, you want to say something to sign off? Well, that was fun. It's not the first time I've been stopped by authorities with Adam. So <laughs> it won't be the last, I'm sure. All right. Peace and love, everybody. Remember to be excellent to each other. Adam vs. The Man is made possible with support from SmartCash. Check out smartcash.cc to find out more about this powerful, business-focused cryptocurrency that is fast, easy to use, and community-centric. SmartCash is designed to be securely used for day-to-day -day transactions and put the currency back in cryptocurrency.